Hey everybody, it's Mrs. Bevan. I teach kindergarten at Herlock and I am here to read you a uh, bedtime Christmas story. Now, some of you I'm sure have read this book before. This is The Day the Crayons Came Home and it is one of my very favorite books. It is so funny and my whole family loves it. And there is another one in this series called The Day the Crayons Quit which is also another one of my very favorites. And I was at the store recently and look what I found, The Crayons Christmas. It is a sequel to those first two crayon books and I thought I would give it a whirl um, because it's probably gonna be as funny as the first two. So here we go. The Crayons Christmas by Drew DeWalt. Illustrator Oliver Jeffers. Here we go. The Crayons Christmas. Here's the first page. See all those crayons and candy canes. <laughs> Here's a funny picture. It says, I thought we talked about this. One snowy December day, Duncan was making Christmas cards with his crayons when the mail carrier brought a letter, only it wasn't for him. Two peach crayon, apartment four, crayon box, Duncan's room, on the bookshelf next to weird pen holder. From mom and dad. Let's see what the letter says. Hmm. Then you see it's got a little, little something in there. It says Christmas greetings from, from Florida. Oh, peachy pie, you always were my shy one. So I've sent you some clothes. Now you can give Duncan back his underwear. Have fun playing dress up, my naked baby, and Merry Christmas. Love, Mom. And just to give you a little bit of background, if you've never read these books before, Duncan is a little boy who owns these crayons. So when you hear them refer to Duncan, he's the one who colors with the crayons. So, <laughs> funny. They sent Peach Crayon some clothes. And here I put him in, or she, in the little snowsuit. They have all kinds of little <laughs> outfits here. I'll just show you some of them. You can dress them up in a Christmas sweater or as Santa. So funny. All right, Duncan and his crayons spent the next day playing in the snow. Peach Crayon says, yay, clothes! Yellow and orange crayon, who are blended together, says, I think the snowman's nose should be a banana. And the orange part says, I don't care at all what you think. And he's got a carrot in his hand. So you can see that. Feeling snowed out, but suddenly very Christmassy, the crayons headed inside to warm up and get out the Christmas decorations. Oh, we got another pocket with some Christmas decorations. Candy cane, a blue bell, <laughs> a silver crayon, a little Martian man, Martian elf, a rocket, 
a bulb, another bulb, and a star. You know I'm candy, right, Duncan? And you know you're supposed to eat candy, right? Because last time I checked, people didn't hang candy on the tree. Ten years in a row. I'm older than you are, kiddo. Now will someone please eat me and end this madness? Silver Crayon says, free at last! I was in there a whole year. The next day, as Duncan and the crayons decorated the house, they heard a knock on the door. A little Martian elf said, can I please not be on the back of the tree facing the wall this year? The sock says, ooh, look at me, I'm a stocking. And the, and the turquoise crayon that stuck to the sock said, oh brother, I would wish I'd melted to underwear instead. It was the mail carrier with another letter. This one was addressed to Beige Crayon. Here's the letter from Beige Senior, Crayonton, Pennsylvania, to Beige Crayon, the crayon box, top of the bookshelf, Duncan's room. Oh, here we go. It's a letter on one side and a recipe on the other. Let's read the letter first. Hello, Beige, my dear boy. I heard you're allergic to gluten now from coloring and all that wheat. But don't worry. I'm sending you my world famous, top secret, gluten-free Christmas cookies and hot cocoa recipe. Merry Christmas and lots of love, Dad. And here's Dad's world famous, top secret, gluten-free Christmas cookies and hot cocoa recipe. Step one, go to store and buy gluten-free cookies. Step two, oh, and get hot cocoa mix. Step three, Follow instructions on hot cocoa box. Step four, add too much milk so it's a nice beigey color. Maybe add a marshmallow. Step five, eat cookies with hot cocoa, the best step of all. And do you know what? The next night they made beige's dad's world famous Top secret, gluten-free Christmas cookies and hot cocoa. Just as they set out the cookies and cocoa, another letter came in the mail. This one was from Gray Crayon, who was away visiting his family. <laughs> the envelope says Gray Crayon Gray's Land, Tennessee. Duncan's Crayons, the Crayon Fort, wherever Duncan left it. And the candy cane in the mug of hot chocolate says, ah, feel that stress just melt away. Let's see what this letter says. Oh. <clears throat> says, Happy Hanukkah. Hey Duncan, sorry, I won't be able to make it home this year. I'm celebrating Hanukkah with my family. If I don't, I always get a little sad and gray around the holidays. Ha, get it? A little gray because I'm, oh, never mind. Anyway, here's a dreidel. Happy spinning. Merry Christmas and Happy Hanukkah. 
gray crayon and I put together what gray crayon had sent. It's a little dreidel. It's a little toy that is a traditional Jewish toy. After such great present, after such a great present from Gray, the crayons, the crayons remembered they had some presents of their own to wrap. <laughs> the tape says, a work of art, a triumph, a masterpiece, my greatest work yet. And then one of the crayons says, oh man, you win again. I don't know how you do it. Deck the halls with lots of crayons. Fa la 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 la. With all the presents wrapped, it was time to go caroling. I love these little crayons. They're so funny. Just as the crayons came home from caroling, the mail carrier delivered a big package for Chunky Toddler Crayon. Ooh, I ordered the Christmas gift online. That's how it works, right? You order gifts for yourself? It's not? Oh, sorry. Well, the good news is that we can all play with it. Open it and see. So Chunky Toddler Crayon sent himself a present. Shipping address was Chunky Toddler Crayon, Apartment 7, Crayon Box, Duncan's Room, on the bookshelf, and here on the notes it says, next to weir Weird Pen Holder. Pen holder. Here's what's in there. The Great Crayon Holiday Race. The simple goal is to get from start to finish. You roll a six-sided die and move a counter that number of spaces. And if you land on a special space, you follow the directions on the space and move your piece accordingly. So this is what Chunky, uh, Chunky Toddler Crayon sent himself. It's a little game and it's really funny. It's got little uh, say, like if you roll number four, it says Picasso likes your art. Take the secret artist shortcut, shortcut. Then there's another one. Doorknob trouble, lose a turn, lose wrapper and run around naked. Move ahead four spaces, then back three, then ahead two. <laughs> so it's a little game. Funny. Finally, it was Christmas Eve, time for the big Christmas play. After the play, at the end of the night, there was a package waiting for them at the front door from the North Pole. But it wasn't from Santa. Oh my. From Esteban the Magnificent and Neon Red, too two duncan and everyone back home oh these are two crayons that had run away in one of the first books they ran away to see the world let's see what they have to say oh they made something oh <laughs> it's a map it says our world tour Hey, Duncan, remember how I always wanted to see the world? And you know how Neon Red is a to total expert? Well, Neon Red has been taking me everywhere. Here's a map we made of our trip. We were hoping to get back before Christmas, but sadly, we can't because we've been helping the old guy light his sleigh to deliver gifts to some kids he knows or whatever. So Merry Christmas from far, far away. Love, Esteban the Magnificent 
and neon red. Also pretty magnificent. Looks like they've been all over the place. Duncan was happy that his crayons received such wonderful gifts. All he had were letters from Gray, Esteban, and Neon Red saying they wouldn't be home for Christmas. That made him sad, and no one in the world noticed or cared. Except for the crayons. In this season of giving, they decided to give back to the boy who had always given them love, respect, and even a home. It says, Merry Christmas, Duncan. Love from your crayons. Peach says, I love not being naked anymore. The cup says, Merry Christmas, you old Bailey Savings and Loan. The bell says, it's a Christmas miracle. Chunky blue crayon says, God bless us, everyone. <laughs> You're so funny. And here's the final page. See the candy cane? He's finally being eaten by a dog. He says, yay, finally. There's the back cover. I hope you enjoyed our Crayons Christmas book. And if you haven't already read the first two, you should check them out because I think you'd really like them. Merry Christmas, everyone.